The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health describes phosphine as a colorless, flammable, and explosive gas at room temperature that smells like garlic or decaying fish. Small amounts occur naturally in the environment from the breakdown of organic matter, and it is also made for use in a number of industries. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry reports that phosphine is used in the semiconductor and plastics industries, in the production of a flame retardant, and as a pesticide in stored grain. NIOSH also states it is also used as a pesticide in stored tobacco. Some examples of workers at risk of being exposed to phosphine, according to NIOSH, include factory workers that make electronics, workers in plants that make rat poison, and pest control workers who use it for the control of rats. Inhalation is the most likely route of exposure to phosphine. Early symptoms of acute phosphine intoxication include pain in the diaphragm, nausea, vomiting, excitement, and a phosphorus smell on the breath. Higher levels can cause weakness, bronchitis, pulmonary edema, shortness of breath, convulsions, and death. Some effects, such as pulmonary edema, convulsions, and liver injury, may appear or continue to be present days after exposure. Long-term exposure to very low levels of phosphine can result in anemia, bronchitis, gastrointestinal effects, and visual, speech, and motor problems. To help protect workers, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set a permissible exposure limit, and NIOSH has a recommended exposure limit. These are just a few of the many things to know about phosphine and potential occupational exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.